Walters in front of him. Oh, with a house call. What a ball and what a catch. I mean, I think he's an elite dude that I can kind of take us where we need to go, especially going into this new conference. Indeed. Max Hall talking about Keaton Slovis. Welcome back to Studio B. Jerem Jordan, Jason Shepard. It's the quarterback segment. I spoke to quarterback one, Keaton Slovis, who broke down his performance after the scrimmage. Okay, Keaton, scrimmage in the books. How'd you feel it go went? It was all right. I like the score. Touchdown with the ones, but um, obviously on TV, we're not going to show a ton of stuff. But happy with how they played overall the whole spring. We still got three practices left, and uh, it's always fun to get out here and see the fans and everything. What do you think of Keanu Hill? He's a decent guy. <laughs> he's kind of goofy, though. No, he's great. Uh, yeah, he's awesome. What boxes do you feel like you checked that you wanted to check in this situation? Um, you know, we had a lot of box checked all spring, really. Um, I think just operation, operating cleanly, no penalties, hopefully. Um, you know, and running our basic plays well, you know. Um, I know defense is pretty vanilla, too, but, you know, you like to operate in your simple offense as effectively as possible. You guys will take next week off and then have three more practices. What do you want to accomplish in those final three before you have the break? Yeah, I think there's just some stuff that, you know, we haven't gotten a ton of reps at. I, A-Rod kind of alluded, you know, getting reps to that stuff, uh, getting better yeah, and better, and, uh, right you know, getting really comfortable. I think we're comfortable with a lot of probably 90% of the offense, just that 10% that, you know, we can rep out, and we'll get that done those next week. Zach Wilson uh, chatted with him a couple minutes ago. He said he's a Keaton Slovis fan, uh, going back to that 2019 game. What's it like to have played on this field where you played against Zach and the Cougars? It's 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 uh, kind of weird. It's weird walking on this side instead of that one, but um, it's, it's kind of weird. You said that before. Yeah, it is kind of weird being back, uh, but you know it feels great, great atmosphere, um, and it's it's just fun to get out. This it's a great atmosphere when the fans are here during the season too. So excited for that. Well, it's great to have you here. Congratulations, and we'll see you soon. Thank you. Can't wait. I think that uh, echoes what the fans are thinking. Can't wait for Keaton Slovis. Can't look, wait. and again, look. He, he wasn't going to go out there, and he, he, didn't, he didn't light it up, and it's fine. Isn't it? Don't, don't, like, from a BYU coach's perspective, they didn't want, want him to no, light it up. No, no, absolutely say. not. Like, oh, crap, no, now we can, see what Keaton Slovis. Nobody cares. He needs to be off the radar a little in this All league. fans wanted to see was Keaton Slovis in a BYU uniform at Lavelle Edwards Stadium, and, to, and everybody was happy. I that wanted was, to hear that was all. weird word from him with BYU again, yeah. which was great. Um, okay, Jaron Hall uh, was there. We'll hear from him in a minute. But Zach Wilson was in attendance, and I talked to him about coming back to BYU and certainly his situation in New York. Yeah, Zach Wilson's here. Uh, Zach, uh, welcome back to BYU, man. Good to see you. How you doing? It's good to be here. Good to hear you. see all the guys again. It feels like I was just here. So, uh, 2020 has been three years now, which is weird. Uh, just finished your second year in the league, of course. What's it like to be back at BYU on Alumni Day where a lot of guys are back? Yeah, it's always exciting to catch up with guys. You know, a lot of guys I played with are still playing, and then guys that have left kind of asking them, you know, what's new and uh, trying to keep in touch with all of them. But I always enjoy coming and doing this stuff. Certainly the scrimmage is uh, of interest. It's going to be BYU's first Big 12 team. Uh, they got Keaton Slovis. That's probably as good of a quarterback as BYU could have got out of the transfer portal, right? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a Slovis fan. We actually played them here, right, USC, my sophomore year, his freshman year, and got after those guys. But I've kept in touch with him a little bit, so I'm excited for him in, uh, in this year, this, this, this coming season. You have a smile on your face, I think, because BYU won the game, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> Uh, in terms of BYU and kind of stepping into the Big 12, what are your hopes and expectations for um, this program that finally got that validation of a P5 invite and now they'll play? Yeah, huge, man. Uh, you know, Tom did a great job of getting these guys going and uh, and they got their work cut out for them. I think there's going to be uh, a challenge at first, but they're going to have to figure out a way to, to just progressively keep getting better. But I think they can do it. And I'm excited for them because what a great challenge. And you finish your second season in the NFL, uh, certainly Aaron Rodgers to the Jets talk. How have you uh, handled kind of everything that's going on with you and, and the team this offseason? Yeah, just being present, loving life, enjoying family, uh, enjoying the guys, and just understanding I get to play football for a living, and there's nothing better than that. So uh, just absorbing every day and just and just giving everything I got. And, of course, uh, Josh just uh, retired. Uh, I believe Micah is on the team, right? So uh, you're still watching the linebackers, I assume. Yeah, got the, little, got the younger brothers out here. I got, wish Josh was still going, but we got Mike out here, so uh, hopefully those guys can do something. Awesome. Well, thanks, Zach. Appreciate it. Best of luck with them. Yeah, thank you guys always. I love that Zach continues to come back and, and is, is a part of this. Absolutely. I, I, I think it's fantastic. I think he will forever. I, I, yes, absolutely. Yeah. And I, 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 love, I love that BYU has that connection. Look, and it's, BYU's not the only program that has a connection like that. But with BYU's history of quarterbacks, to be able to have these guys that you see on Sunday in the NFL 
and to be able to have them come back. There were but, seven of them, by the way. Yeah, it, Current Cougars in the NFL. It's awesome yeah. that that connection is as strong as it is. I, I love that part. And uh, I appreciate Zach talking. He did not have to do that interview and hasn't done many this offseason for obvious reasons with New York. Um, and I appreciate him doing the interview. That was great to hear from him. Uh, Jaron Hall, also in attendance. He talked about uh, John Beck and how many NFL teams are conversing with him at this point. Here's Jaron Hall. Jeremy and Jaron, we're still going to try that podcast at some point. We'll figure it out. But, uh, Jaron, how you doing, man? Uh, pro day a week ago, uh, spring scrimmage uh, today, getting ready for the NFL draft, of course. How's life right now? Really good. Just glad to be back home with Pro Bowls. Being back here in Lavelle Edwards Stadium, you know, it's, it's, it's a comfort, and it's just it's so fun to see all the, all the guys and see all the good things they got going on. You've been training in Southern California, I take it, with John Beck? Yep, yep, John right out there, dicing him up in the nice uh, Jordan 11s, doing his thing. Yep, that's from a guy. He's still got it. Oh, absolutely. That man slings it around every day when he's throwing with us, too. I'm convinced he might outthrow all of us when we go out there sometimes, so he's still got it. What's it like to see this group of guys in the stadium today? Oh, it's pretty amazing. I mean, you got some, I mean, you heard the crowd when, you know, Ty and John went out there, Max, and then, you know, all the other guys, Dennis. It's uh, it's crazy to see how much, you know, the BYU fans still remember what they did for this program, for, for the state. Um, it's just amazing to see the, the legacy of football players. They're all together now. It's fun. It's special. It's what makes BYU special. Besides one, Kalen Hall, who was your favorite player growing up? K.J. Hall. Besides the Halls. <laughs> Man, I love watching Max, obviously, you know, he shared the last name. I love watching him play. I love watching Brian Kill play, too, a good family friend of ours. So, uh, you know, those two of the guys, you know, in that, in that era, I love watching. How'd you feel you did on Pro Day? Uh, it was a good day. You know, it wasn't perfect. Uh, I felt like we threw the ball really well. Uh, it was fun just getting out there with the guys running around. Um, a lot of those drills, it just takes timing and, and precision, and, you know, you, you kind of get what you get. You're happy with it, so I'm, I'm glad to kind of be moving on from all that stuff. And, and just focus on playing football now. Do you have a sense of who's most interested in you at this point? Uh, not yet. I mean, there's a lot of teams that, that you talk to, and I still have interviews, you know, almost every day um, with different teams, talking to quarterback coaches and assistants and whatnot. So hopefully next few weeks we'll start to get a little better feel for, for what it's looking like. Kyle Van Noy is on the broadcast as well. Um, what did you enjoy most about Kyle's career here? Man, Kyle was a physical freak on the edge. For me, I, growing up as a kid, honestly, and even when I got to BYU as a freshman, I loved watching the defense because of guys like Kyle, because of guys like Kyle. <laughs> Sometimes the guy you get asked about shows up. I, that's how it works, man. He's right there. So, uh, nah, that, the defenses of BYU have always been. Colby Pearson almost hauled one in. But, yeah, I mean, it was fun watching those defenses throughout the years. Hey, best of luck with everything. Thanks for the time. Thank you very much. <laughs> Jaron Hall is one of my favorites. I, I <laughs> gave you a moment. That, that was awesome. That was great. And and for those, like, because Kyle was obviously on the broadcast, yes. he had the, the IFB in his ear, so he could he hear could your hear. question. And you see him lurking in the back. <laughs> what, so great. I, I, I hope Jaron goes to a place where, wherever he's drafted. Seahawks. Good fit. Backup Seahawks. Chiefs. <laughs> yeah.